Hi, I'm Gerva Aritz with part seven from the Kedushat Levi on Parashat Bereshit. It is becoming increasingly more difficult to stick to the text as I'm getting more ideas, which I'll express in the videos, but not in the writings as they would become too long. Od Yevo Ar. And I've been looking at these titles in the beginning of this section. And we have the word ode, which could be translated as a, another explanation, or the concept of ode as something that's adjacent to the completion of a time or just prior to completion of an act. For instance, in the Hebrew, uh, ode 12 o'clock would be that point in time just before 12 o'clock, but not including 12 o'clock. <clears throat> it's a boundary layer as I understand it. <clears throat> Bereshit bara Elohim et Hashemayim. In the beginning, created Elohim the heavens, and of course it goes on to the earth and the other things. And we have the past tense, as we talked about the infinite past in the previous video. Everything up until the, the creation of the heavens has been completed at this point, and we're at the instant just before they're actually completed, perhaps. Milat eight, who may tar? The word eight, which is a directive object, and also the the concept of completeness, the Aleph Tav, is extra. Venire lahavin, and we see that the understanding, or I'm going to say the revelation of the understanding, because uh, the seeing of the understanding. I'm putting the seeing concept of revelation here. Kimilat eight, humilashon ba. That the word eight comes from the word ba, the word eight that is signifies existence, the al of tav or completion of an action comes from the word ba, but it's not the same as the word ba. In order for something to be in existence, something must have brought it into existence. Milashon va tamerivot kodesh, from the meaning of, and he came with the holy myriads, which is talking about Hashem when he came from Mount Seir with the holy myriads. That we have va'ata, which has the eight in the middle of it, and the concept that the holy myriads existed means that somebody brought them or something or someone, in this case Hashem, brought them into existence. And the explanation is that next to the world of Atzilut, which is the highest world, moving down, and the, Olam, the, the source, the place it came from, the and the world of Berea, which is the mental thought process that went into creating the world where it existed in the mind before it existed in the in re, what we call reality, and the world of Yetzirah, which is the sending forth with words, and the world of um, doing Shebaze Yehu Shemayim Faaretz. That what comes out of these four stages that's the end result of these four stages, is the Shemayim Va'aretz, the heavens and the earth. So now we're creating a, a starting point, a renewal point of the heavens and the earth. or HaPasuk, and from this will come the explanation of the passage, Vayomer Elohim Yehi Or, and Elohim said, Yehi Or, let there be light. Now we know that prior to Vayomer must be the other levels, Vaydeber Elohim, uh, the thought process that went into it just before the speech, but we're talking about the completed act of the speech here. Vayhi or, and let there be light, Shebechoma ase bereshit neomar vayhi chen. And with all the other works of creation, it is said, and it was so. Vechan ketu vayhi or, and here it is written, and there was light. We have a difference here. Vahani ra de kach, who 
Cain, rather, Hanira de Lashon Cain, Huchach, that it is seen that in the word so is the word thus, in the concept of thus said the Lord, that, and then it was so, we have a saying or something that existed prior to the light. Let's see what that was. Lo kemo shahaya betehila rach kemo not that it was in existence from the beginning, only that it was revealed, or that we saw it. Aval ha'or, belav ha'ki ha'or. But the but in the case of the light alone, we say that it was light. Rachnet zalme or ein sof, only that it was next to the light of the ein sof. Ve'im kein or ein sof haya mitachila, and if so, that the light of the ein sof was there from the beginning. Rach shabazeh hadibor vayhi or only that in this, only in this situation do we have the the words hadibor, which is different than the words that are spoken, but the internal words vayhi or and there was light. That next to the light of the Ein Sof for the worlds, there, and the, they were, it was split off, split off, or a portion was taken from the light of the Ein Sof. In Cain, Miad Shamar Yehi Or, Miad Nefred Me Or Ein Sof, Kefi. She or or and if so, immediately after it was said, "Let there be light," immediately after the partitioning, or the taking a portion from the light of the Ain Sof, according to the portion that the worlds will be able to bear. We're talking about the upper worlds here, not Hashemayim Va'ar. It's not the heaven and the earth. Vezehu vaihi or. And this is, let there be light, in the portion that the lower worlds from the emanating point would be able to withstand. May or ain sof, a, from the light of the ain sof. Vechein hu bezohar chadesh, and as it is said in the holy zohar, vayhi or, or shekavar haya, let the, and let there be light, this is a light that already existed. Uvaze of Or Hapasuch. And from this we will be able to explain the passage in Bereshit 2, 3. Asher bara Elohim la Sot, which Elohim created to do, to do in the world of Asiya. Milat la Sot, the word la Sot, or to do, humi otar, it is extra. Vahanire. Ki HaKadosh Baruch Hu B'chol Yom Mechadesh Ma'aseh Bereshit that the Kodesh Baruch Hu in every day renews the works of creation or actually in the sense I'm taking it has new works of creation to do. We have a work that's right now that has been completed that knock was completed at the time I made it and everything that went up to it was completed and now there's a new knock that needs to be done in the next day. As it is written that the renewal of his goodness, of the Creator's goodness, etc., are the works of creation. Those things in the world of Asiya, those things are done in the now, those things that we can touch and feel in our reality. Ah, ha uvein. However, the explanation that between every work of creation and between the uh, renewal uh, every day of the works of creation, that in every day the um, uh, works of creation are repeated. Uva maase bereshit nit chadesh maase bereshit begashmi, bereshit hagashmi. Excuse me. And in the works of creation are renewed the works of the physical 
creation, those that we can see. The spiritual creation is not renewed. Vezehu, and these are Asher Barai Elohim La Sot, that Elohim created in the past tense to do. So we have a to-do list that's done, and every day has its thing to do. Zoh Shebera Hashem Olamot, that is, that Hashem created the supernal worlds, the Olamot is the supernal. Kedei Sheachol Li Verogam Olam Ha'asiya. In order that Hashem will also be able to create the world of Asiya, the lowest world of Asiya, the very last world, is the thing we do because once we do something, it's completed. And it contains all the thought processes that went to it in the infinite past that we talked about the last time. Olam Hagashmi, the world of the physical, the physical world, the world of physicalities down in Asiya, and those have to be recreated constantly because we're constantly doing things. We go from the place where we are now, which contains the infinite past, not only in our own lives, but the shoulders of the people we stand upon, and before them, whatever it was that was, the evolution or whatever that ended up in us being here. But right now, we have to continue the physical actions to do those physical activities, our, our own personal ma'asebera sheet, our own personal world of Asiya. That's a difficult one.